guys, welcome back to another episode of Dread Captures. This week we're going to be checking out an unidentified creature running through some fire blend, a potential missing child case, a close call with a mountain lion, and even a bonus feel-good story thrown in there at the end. All caught on camera. Let's get into the stories. Our first video clip comes from a man named Daniel, who was filming a controlled burn on his family's farm in Oklahoma. Ironically, he was filming the burn for one of his social media channels where he talks about homesteading. He's got the fire going pretty well and he whips around the camera to do some commentary. It's really hard to notice at first, but when we zoom in, you can see someone running in the background. Well, damn, that could Let's take another person. look. Running, because his feet are what on fire. What could that be? <laughs> It wasn't until about 9 p.m. when one of Daniel's buddies messaged him asking if that was a Sasquatch in his video. Daniel had no idea what he was talking about. He had to go back and watch his own video. I mean, if that's not a dog man or a Sasquatch, then what is it? Who would be running through someone's farm, especially when it's on fire? I'd love to know what you guys think about this one. Our next clip is very mysterious as well, taking place in 2017 in Cambridge, New York. A family was having some strange occurrences happening on their land. One of their younger children and one of the family dogs wouldn't go into the woods anymore. So the family decided to put up some trail cams to try to uncover the mystery. Of course the family knew they would capture plenty of video footage of animals. But what one of the cameras caught made their jaws drop. A young girl appeared out of nowhere. The family was stunned, and when they asked their children, none of them recognized the girl. The family asked neighbors if they recognized the girl, but no one did. A creepier part of this is that there's an urban legend about a young girl who went missing, and the young girl caught on the trail camera looks eerily similar to the girl that went missing. A paranormal expert was brought in. And she said that she could feel the presence of something in the area. I'll let you guys be the judge of this. Our next video takes us to Indonesia, where some dirt bikers have hit the trails. One of the guys has a GoPro attached to his helmet, and what started out as a fun ride would end up shocking them to the core. The creature to the right of the screen darts out onto the trail, causing one of the riders to lock up his brakes and crash. If we rewind, we can see the goblin at the top of the screen. It appears he notices the riders and attempts to get away. He eventually crosses the path and darts into the brush. With the camera still rolling, the riders pull up to where the creature disappeared and take a look. Not too close a look, though. To this day, the riders don't know what they saw on that trail. They hung around a bit before ultimately leaving the area, scratching their heads. Some that have seen the video have speculated the creature was a goblin, dwarf, or some type of elf. Personally, I have no idea what I just saw. This next video shows a creature spotted on hilltop. A couple saw the creature as they were hiking on a logging road in British Columbia. While they were taking pictures of the beautiful scenery, they noticed some movement. When zoomed in, you can see a hairy ape-like creature walking around, swinging his arms. You tell me what you guys see. A video that surfaced from Lettuce Park, Florida shows what appears to be a Sasquatch or some type of ape walking around in a swampy forest. A man named Matt was canoeing around and saw what he thought to be a bear. But when he saw it walk, he knew it wasn't a bear. Matt reported the sighting to a park ranger, and she said she didn't know of any creature they had in the park with that description. And she even went on to say that bears rarely get into the park, and even when they do, most people don't see them. Many people that have seen this video think this is a skunk ape because of the ease in which he walked through the swampy area. I'd love to know what you guys think. Matt also said that if this is some type of hoax, this person is insane. 
there are 12 foot gators, water moccasins, and other poisonous critters all over that swamp. Matt said he continued to observe the creature, and when it seemed to notice him, he dropped below the water surface and vanished. Matt paddled up to where he was, but he was nowhere to be found. This incredible story took place around Christmas, December 20th to be exact. A Siberian husky named Coda, who was known for wandering, had disappeared. It was terrible. She had been missing for three entire days, and the family started to think the worst. They hadn't seen or heard from her, even after searching the entire valley, both on foot and using a snowmobile. To make themselves feel better, they did joke many times that perhaps she'd made new friends in the valley and was too occupied to come home. Finally, after those three very long days, Coda came sauntering back into the yard like nothing had happened, and she'd only been gone a few minutes. She wasn't hungry and didn't have so much as a scratch on her body. Of course the family was happy, but where had she been? And what had she been doing? They had so many questions for her. About a month later, Rachel's uncle was talking to a neighbor in the valley. The neighbor had a bunch of trail cameras set up for watching wildlife on his property. But he'd been away on vacation for weeks and only just started looking at the footage from late December. And what he caught on camera was amazing. Hundreds of pictures of their husky coda in a bunk, kissing and sleeping together. Now, I'm sure that's not something you would believe without photo evidence. So, here you go.